we are going to go through the upgrade process of my Nest account to a Google Home account when I already have both a Nest account and a Google Home account. I swear, like, every time I go to record, I need to shave. I haven't made a video in a minute, so I figured uh, now's as good a time as ever. One thing that you probably didn't know is that I bought a Nest Thermostat E. Also, uh, upstairs have one of these. One of these Nest Thermostat sensors for upstairs. And uh, so with these devices, of course, Google is doing away with Nest and they're like merging it into Google Home. I'm not certain exactly how that's working. I have Google Home devices everywhere. I have the regular speaker here with the Google Wi-Fi. Upstairs in my bedroom, I have the Lenovo Smart Display, the 8-inch one there. Over here, I have the regular Google Home Hub or Google Nest Hub, they're calling it now. I don't know. And a really dope Batman mirror. So, with, with these changes, they are basically merging your Nest account with a Google Home account. Now what I'm not certain of is somebody like me where I have a Nest account and I also have a Google Home account. How are they gonna merge? What's it gonna look like? Uh, that's hopefully what I'm gonna show you today. I have the update. The other day I saw this uh, news article here and then of course I went here on my phone and could see I had the update. So I went ahead and ran it and we are gonna go through the upgrade process of my Nest account to a Google Home account when I already have both a Nest account and a Google Home account. So some of you may not have a Google Home account so this should be a little easier for you but for the ones that do this should be what you see. So let's figure it out. So this is all of my smart home apps and if I go into my Nest app and then go into settings and account you can see you have a migrate to a Google account button. Now I've blurred out my email address here, but I can tell you that the email address with my Nest account is the exact same email address that I have with my Google account. So let's see how this works. Nest and Google have came together, blah, 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 blah. Continue with Google. So now it's bringing me here and it's asking me what account do I want to continue with? I'm going to select my Big C Vlogs account. Nest wants to access your Google account. This will allow Nest to blah blah. Sure. Here's what to do. Let's finish migrating your account. Once you've migrated, it cannot be reversed. Combine your homes. Create a new unified Google Nest home, then invite. So, wait, do I have to make a whole new. Oh, yeah. So let's see. So home is mine. Home members who are not selected. All right. Yep. I got to include her there. How access to your home is changing. Now, this was a part where they were talking about that, like, members have the ability to remove members. And this is just telling them what they'll all have access to. These are all of my lights and everything else. Kaylee's lights is spelled like that because because Google can't spell her name. And then so now the homes are combined. It wants me to review the privacy policy. Yeah, sure, whatever. Complete migration. Get a monthly summary of your energy use. All right, it says we're all set. And now I can see the name has changed to Big C Vlogs. Um, and even it actually shows on account my little picture there from YouTube. So I guess I am still using the Nest app itself, at least for now. Let's look in our Google Home app. See if there's any real changes here. Nothing that I can see. So that was it. <laughs> Not nearly as complicated as I thought it would be. Basically all I had to do was follow the directions, select my home since I already had a home set up in um, 
in the Google Home app, and uh, it woo, and uh, it did the rest of the work. So that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. I don't really see any real difference. It basically just got rid of the Nest accounts and turned them into your Google accounts. So it's not really that big of a deal, at least from what I can see. I don't know why everybody's so upset. So Google changes the way that the lights work on the Nest cameras. So like the status lights always on instead of it being off when it's recording. People are complaining about that, but if I'm not mistaken, when Google Glass came out, that was the exact same thing that they were complaining about because the Google Glass didn't have a status light to tell people it was recording. But now people are mad that Google enabled the status light always on Nest cameras. I, I don't get it. But yeah, I guess that'll do it. I wanted to try to make this video as long as I possibly could, but uh, it was just a little shorter than I expected it to be. So that is how that you migrate your Nest account to a Google Home account that already exists. So definitely not that complicated. I'd say go ahead and knock it out. And uh, yeah, if you can, give this video a like, click the subscribe button down in the corner, and we will see you in the next one. Deuces. This is like the shortest cable I've ever seen for a gas pump. See, it's not even close to the ground. That one's way close to the ground. That one's way close to the ground. Super short.